What are you going to RuneFest? Serious question. Um, am I going to RuneFest? If they don't offer to pay for like my comedies, I believe the word was, and my flight, then they could go f themselves. But if they do offer that, then I'll go. Like, it's not even a money thing. It's a principle thing. I swear to God it is. Like, I was telling Mo, I was like, should I go to RuneFest? I think that's a play if I go and I stream it and shit like that. He was like, nah, they should definitely pay for your flight after all the shit you've done for RuneScape. I was like, you know what? You're right. Like, that would be disrespectful if they didn't, huh? Like, chat, we've done so much shit for this damn game. Like, we deserve at least, like, fight paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be rats. Don't. Like, you guys literally make 10 mil plus a month. Invest in your company a little bit. Chat, you guys know, like, plushies and shit like that? Like, you know how, like, like games will make a plushie and stuff instead of like making a creator code for bonds like being smart like fortnite and like making a creator code where like the the streamer could get like 20 percent of the revenue of people buy bonds instead of using that code what did they do instead they said now you guys could buy plushies using a creator code so if you want a runescape plushie go ahead and use a creator code there like bro ain't nobody buying that fucking weak ass shit bro like please like plushie the only people buying that shit are on epstein's list i said it no i'm joking i'm joking but like come on bro it's fucking whack like be smart here what the fuck are we gonna do with a plushie for content creators it's so stupid bro like what are we children like imagine imagine like you could buy a bond on runescape and then type oda like as in like my creator code and then i would get like 20 like bro what it's so smart like, it would literally make you guys more money because there would be more people buying bonds through the creator code because it's a discount. Not only that, but the streamers are making money as well. Like, all this bullshit they released today in a blog post that I saw about, like, yeah, well, you guys could now make money because, uh, buy plushies here and use creator code to, to make money while you advertise these plushies. Like, no! I don't even want a plushie myself! This is such a bad idea. Like, if I worked at Gegek, I swear to God, I would make them so much money because I could relate to the community. All all Gegex has to do is relate to the community. Be involved in the community. Be involved in streamers chats and see what people like and dislike. For instance, I'll give you guys an example. DMM just ended months ago. Everybody was complaining that nobody's dying in the world 345 world because there was no sigils or venge trinkets. So people could just bang fight and have infinity brew. As soon as world 345 got released, it immediately went dead and the, all the worlds went dead. You know why? Because they don't listen to their community. Everybody was saying that to bring back sigils and the venge trinket on the, on the permanent DMM world just so people could die and it could be more active. But they didn't respond, nor did they care, and they just let it die out. Like, bro, they just don't listen to anything, bro. Like, they're so uninvolved involved in the community so cringe i swear to god it is they don't give a fuck about pvp it's not even that though it's about just about bettering your game like for instance i'll give you guys another example i'm probably one of the biggest rs streamers on twitch slash kick right we could all agree on that bro how are you gonna tell one of the biggest rs streamer that you're gonna go on a call with them three months ago and give me access to private world so i could host my own tournaments and i will be hosting the prize pool all i need you is to give me the the world so i can host these tournaments and then i get ignored for three months straight by mod sween like come on bro